Hello, it's James George with Creative Beacon, and this week I'm going to talk about paragraph styles inside of Photoshop CC. This is just a fairly new feature um, that I think should have been in Photoshop a long time ago. And basically, it, uh, it gives you the ability, uh, the same ability that you have in InDesign to control paragraph styles. Uh, so that you don't have to constantly format and reformat your text. And uh, it works uh, basically the same way, but I'm going to uh, run through a, uh, a quick tutorial on how to use paragraph styles to control the way your type looks. Well, what I've done here is, you know, this is basically gibberish that I've gotten from uh, Laura Mipsum, uh, Lipsum.com. I had it generate seven paragraphs here, and uh, I, I took uh, my text tool here and drug out a box and pasted it, and I gave it uh, headlines, and everything is divided up into paragraphs. And so you can see it's kind of ugly. The text is really kind of bold and just, you know, it completely needs to be reformatted. But with the paragraph styles, you only have to format uh, your paragraphs one time. And then you can go through and uh, format the rest of them. And so let's highlight this set of text here. And it says Basic Paragraph Plus. And so if you double click on that, this box is going to open up and you know this is just your paragraph styles panel which can be found via um, your window menu here in paragraph styles and so this is your basic paragraph and you can say um, default paragraph style you can name it whatever you want to and then you just go through and you fill out the menus. And so let's say you wanted to use uh, Garamond, uh, Adobe Garamond Pro. And you want the font style to be regular and you want it to be 12 point. And you don't want it to do auto letting. Uh, you want to do. Um, about 20% more uh, leading than your point size. So you want to do maybe about 14 points for leading. And I'm just going to say normal case, uh, normal position, and the color is going to be black. And so that's your basic paragraph style. And you can go through uh, the different menus here on the side and um, control a lot of different things like your vertical and horizontal scale um, you know in the baseline shift um, you can uh, check different open style or uh, open type features uh, such as uh, ornaments and ligatures and things like that which is important uh, when you're doing professional uh, typography and typesetting you can also uh, control how much it's, it's indented, so you know the text will indent uh, that many points over, and so you have a lot of control. And this this will indent the whole paragraph, and this will just indent the first line by a certain number of points. And so it's really it's really quite simple and straightforward how to control this uh, composition. You just let's say Adobe Single Line Composer. Um, justification um, and these settings determine uh, how far it's going to stretch to justify the words and and so I, you you generally don't do justification just because you know I've never thought it looked good and it just doesn't you you know you just follow your basic your normal typography rules but this just gives you control over how everything looks and then you know, see um, auto letting here 120 percent. So yeah, you give it about 20 percent extra padding than the actual point size, and then you can set your hyphenation. You know when words will hyphenate at the end of a paragraph, and 
So from from there you click OK. And so we'll highlight this bit of text here and choose the default paragraph style that I chose. And so you can see that you know I need to uh, address some formatting issues here. See this plus mark means that something is being overridden. And so what you want to do is uh, this little um, sort of circular arrow icon here says clear override, which means whatever's overriding your text, just we're going to get rid of that and you apply only what this, you know, what you've defined in this style. And so that's how you fix uh, that problem if you run into it. And so now your text is Adobe Garamon regular 12 point with 14 points of leading. And so you know you can just go ahead and go through here click this and see it's still overridden you click and you fix that you can fix that one you can go through and you can fix all of your text. And so, you know, you're just removing the formatting override and setting what your text should look like. And so this gives you the ability to have total control over what your text is going to be. And you don't have to go back and reformat your text every single time, which would be time consuming and annoying. But all you have to do is just click a button and it's done. And so you don't have to go back and change your font styles and all that stuff over and over and over again. It's really easy and you know takes a lot less time and so in that amount of time I was able to format seven paragraphs of text without having to uh, go in and change each one of these menus every time I think it's a huge time saver uh, your type will look consistent and it's a, it's a great way to uh, handle your type inside of Photoshop and make typesetting easy well, I'm James George, and this is Creative Beacon.